In this video, we're going to take a look at polynomial division using both the long and synthetic methods. And first, we're going to look at long division. So long division between polynomials is just like long division that you did as a kid, just with polynomials instead of real numbers. So I think the best way to get a feel for this is just to do a bunch of examples. So first, we're going to start with x cubed plus 4x squared plus 5x plus 6 divided by x plus 2. And we just want to jump right into it and look at these first two terms. So what we want to notice is what can we multiply this biggest exponent over here to get this biggest exponent right here? And in this case, what we're going to want to multiply x by to get x cubed is x squared. And we're going to multiply that into this entire dividend right here. So that gives us x cubed plus 2x squared. And then we want to group these together and multiply them by negative 1 like that and subtract. So that gives us 0 plus 2x squared. And then we want to play the whole game again. What can we multiply x by to get 2x squared? Well, that's going to be 2x like that. And then we have 2 times 2x over here. So that's going to be 4x. And we're going to bring this 5x down over here. So that's going to be 2x squared and 4x right there. And we're, again, we're going to want to group them and subtract. So that's going to be 0. And this is going to be x. And again, we want to bring this 6 down to here. Now, what do we want to multiply x by to get x? Well, that's just 1. And so we'll have x plus 2 here. Group them together. And notice we get a remainder of and we treat remainders with long division of polynomials the same that we do when we have long division of real numbers. We just take this and we add it with this divided into it. So our final answer is x squared plus 2x plus 1. And that part is given just by the top of this um, division bar right here. And then we also have this plus 4 over x plus 2 term. Okay, let's look at one more example of long division. Okay, for our second example, we have x to the fifth plus x to the fourth plus 5x cubed minus 6x squared plus 10x minus 12. And that's divided by x squared plus 4. Again, we want to look at the first term of the divisor and the first term of the dividend and see what we can do to multiply this number to get this number. And we need to multiply by x cubed in this case. So it's going to be x cubed up here. And that will give us x to the fifth plus 4x cubed. But notice, that's going to go under our x cubed term here. Because we don't have an x to the fourth term here, because this is x squared, and there's no x term in this divisor. So again, we want to group these and subtract. That will give us 0 over here. We're going to bring this x to the fourth down, and we get 1x cubed right there. OK, great. Now, what do we want to multiply this number by to get x to the fourth? Well, that's just going to be x squared. So we'll put that in there. And again, we'll play the same game. That's going to be x to the fourth plus 4x squared. Move this over here. And this minus 6x squared, we'll go ahead and bring down. Group these and subtract. So that's going to give us 0 plus x cubed minus 10x squared. And now we want to multiply again. So x squared into x cubed, that goes in x times. So then we have x cubed plus 4x. That's going to go over here. And we're going to bring our x term down. And we want to group and subtract again. That gives us 0 minus 10x squared plus 6x. And we'll go ahead and bring our 1's digit down here. That's minus 12. But now, look, we have a number negative 10x squared and x squared here. So that's just going to be minus 10. And we can multiply and do the same thing. So we have minus 10x squared there and minus 40 over here. We want to group and subtract. So that's going to give us a remainder of, notice the 6x stays the same. And we'll have negative 12 plus 40 because we have this minus sign out here and the minus sign inside. So that's going to give us 28. So that's our remainder, 6x plus 28. So our final quotient is going to be x cubed plus x squared plus x minus 10. That's from the top of this division up here. Plus 6x plus 28 over our divisor x squared plus 4.
Okay, let's move on to synthetic division. So synthetic division is essentially long division, just a little bit easier and made into a little bit simpler terms using the coefficients. And I think the best way, again, is just to look at a bunch of examples. So here we have 4x cubed plus 6x squared plus 6, and we want to divide that by x minus 4. So using long division, we can get an answer, but I think synthetic division makes a lot of sense in this case. So what we're going to do is have our minus 4 out here, and then inside our little synthetic division bar, we'll have our coefficients. So we'll have 4, 6, 0, because there's no x term, and 6. Okay, nice. But now we want to start by bringing this number down here and bring this 4 to here. And then we want to start by multiplying these two numbers together and adding them to our next digit. So in this case, we'll have negative 16, and that's going to give us negative 10. Then we'll multiply negative 10 by negative 4, and we'll get 40 and add it to 0. That'll give us 40. And then we'll have 40 times negative 4, which is negative 160 and add it to 6. And that's going to end up giving us negative 154. So now we have our resulting coefficients for our polynomial, and that's going to be 4x squared minus 10x plus 40 minus 154 over x minus 4. Synthetic division is commonly used to find zeros of large scale polynomials like this because we can easily plug in our zero, in this case, negative four. If our remainder here that I'm going to square in purple comes out to be zero, then our dividend, in this case four, is indeed a zero of our polynomial, which I will box up here in purple. Okay, that's enough for now.